Topics I'll be covering about ammonia today. What is ammonia? Is it found naturally? What are the uses of ammonia in the house and in industry? Who is Fritz Haber? How is this made by the Haber process? And what chemical reactions take place to make ammonia? The impacts of ammonia in an ecosystem. What is Canada's initiative to stop the leaching of ammonia in natural environments? What is ammonia? Ammonia is a compound of nitrogen and hydrogen covalently bonded to make the formula NH3. It is a colorless gas and has a characteristic of having a pungent odor. Ammonia is very important because it contributes to nutritional needs. Ammonia fertilizes plants and helps promote growth in the entire food chain. Is it naturally found? Ammonia is found in trace quantities in the atmosphere. Ammonia and ammonium salts are also found in minute quantities in rainwater and volcanic districts. Our kidneys secrete ammonia to neutralize excess acid. Ammonium salts are also found distributed through all fertile soil and in seawater. Substances containing ammonia, or those that are similar to it, are called ammonicals. Ammonia is also found on other planets such as Pluto, Jupiter, and Uranus. Industrial use of ammonia. Ammonia is a very important chemical in the industry. The most important use of a chemical is fertilization of the crops. Ammonia production accounts for one half of the world population's food supply. If ammonia were not used, one half of the world would not have food to eat. Around 83% of the ammonia that is produced is used for fertilizing crops. 1% of all energy that is being produced is used for synthesis of ammonia. Ammonia was used during the World War, World War II to power buses in Belgium. Liquid ammonia was used as a fuel for rocket airplanes. Although not as powerful as other fuels, it left no soot or residue in the reusable rocket engine which simplified the aircraft's design. Ammonia is also used as a source of protein in livestock for food for helping animals such as cattle, sheep, and goats grow. Ammonia can also be used as a pre-harvest cotton defoliant, an antifungal agent on certain fruits, and a preservative for storage on high moisture corn. Household uses. Window cleaning fluid. Ammonia used in the house is commonly found as window cleaner. Windex or general glass cleaning fluid is a mixture of water and ammonia to create ammonium hydroxide a non-staining shine that is ideal for glass cleaning. Coolant. Ammonia is widely used as refrigerant in industrial refrigeration systems found in food, beverages, and petrochemical and cold storage industries. This was later replaced by a freon. Changing the color of wood. Ammonia was historically used to darken white oak in arts and crafts. Ammonia fumes react with the natural pigments in the wood and cause it to change darker colors. A brief history of Fritz Haber. Fritz Haber, born December 9, 1868, died 20, January 29, 1934, was a German chemist who received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1918 for his development for synthesizing ammonia. Haber was born in Breslau, Germany, into a Hasidic family he was one of the oldest of his family. During his time at university, from 1894 to 1911, he and Karl Bosch developed the Haber process. Haber played a major role in the development of chemical warfare in World War I. The Haber process, or how ammonia is made. The Haber process is the procedure in which nitrogen and sufficient hydrogen mix to form NH3. Or ammonia. There are two main chemical reactions to create ammonia. Methane plus water reacts to form carbon monoxide and hydrogen that will be collected for the Haber process. This is a double displacement reaction. In the second reaction, nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas react with iron with an iron catalyst to form ammonia. This is a synthesis reaction. 
This plant makes 800 tons of ammonia a day. That is enough to fertilize 7,000 football fields. It uses a system called the Haber process. To make ammonia, you must first make the first ingredients, hydrogen and nitrogen. This is where the nitrogen comes from. The machine pressurizes the air to separate nitrogen from other gases around us. Inside this tower, the different gases turn to liquids at different temperatures. This process is called fractional distillation. Half a kilometer away is a vast furnace. It makes hydrogen from natural gas, methane. Methane has the chemical formula CH4, one carbon and four hydrogens. They extract the hydrogen by mixing methane with superheated steam at 500 Celsius. The tremendous heat splits up the methane in water and frees up the hydrogen. What's left over is carbon monoxide. Do you hear me? The final stage of the process comes down to a compressor. It pressurizes a combination of nitrogen and hydrogen to about 200 times atmospheric pressure. Pressurizing the gas also has another effect. It raises the temperature to about 350 degrees Celsius. This intense heat and pressure makes the hydrogen and nitrogen split up. Inside the converter, our hot iron catalyst is waiting for the nitrogen and hydrogen. When they reach the surface of the iron, they react to form ammonia. This reaction also releases heat so that the furnace can stay hot for further ammonia production. Some of the gas that comes out of the converter is not pure. They need to cool the gas so that ammonia can dense into a liquid and the unreacted gases can go back into the furnace for a second round of reacting with each other. Environmental impacts. Eutrophication. One negative impact that ammonia has on the environment is leaching. Leaching is especially dangerous in rivers because it causes unwanted growth of plants and algae on the surface. This huge growth leads to oxygen depletion in the river and will kill the fish and plants that live under the surface of the river. Soil acidification. When ammonia is released to unused soil, ammonia reacts with water to become ammonium. The ammonium eventually dissociates into hydrogen ions and nitrates. nitrates. These hydrogen ions make the soil very acidic and uninhabitable. The nitrogen is eventually taken by nearing plants, the atmosphere, or will be removed in the runoff. The fertilization of vegetation. Just as ammonia was released into the soil I spoken of earlier, the ammonia is released directly onto the plants and are taken up by the roots as nutrients. This will promote the growth of the crop, but might also promote the growth of weeds nearby. Smog. Smog is a huge problem today and in urban areas to now. The major causes of smog, other than exhaust from a car, is the mixture of ammonia with nitrates, nitrites, sulfates, and sulfites. This creates extremely small particles in the air that can be respired or breathed. These particles, when inhaled deep into the lungs, cause bronchitis, asthma, coughing, and farmer's lung. What is Canada's initiative to stop the leaching of ammonia in natural environments? In 2006, the government of Canada proposed that $12 billion would be used to enhance infrastructure, and $860 million would be used to fund over 2,000 projects that will improve the quality of water in all lakes across Canada. Thank you.